If you guys need any FIFA coins, make sure you go and check out U7Buy, link will be down in the description below, and use Jack54 at checkout for a discount. What's up guys, and welcome to another hybrid squad builder video. I know you guys absolutely love these at the moment, so I thought I would bring out another one, and it's actually using a bit of like a hybrid combination, which I've been wanting to put into a team uh, for God knows how long, and I finally kind of worked out a good enough way to be able to do it, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really, really sick team. Hopefully, you guys will like uh, this, the hybrid that I've built, and yeah, it's four leagues. It's very almost, well, so close to being no links wasted as well, uh, and a lot of you guys are wondering like what no links wasted means. It's when you get a player on enough chemistry, like the minimum amount of chemistry, like a minimum nine chemistry. Um, so, obviously, you can have, well, I think you can have ten, but it still be no links wasted because of loyalty and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's so for example, to get my left winger on full chemistry, I'll just need two soft links, like two orange links. Um, that's the minimum links that you need to get him on full chem. But if I wanted to have my striker on full chemistry, I'd, only, I'd need one orange link and then one strong green link. Uh, and then I'll be able to have a dead link as well. So that's kind of, if you, if you want to know more about it, I'm sure you can go on like foothead and work out what no link spaced means. But yeah, it's kind of irrelevant today uh, because this one, this team isn't no link spaced, but it is still a very, very nice team. Four leagues, like I said, we have got the Bundesliga, we've got the Prem, we have got the Serie Ah, and we've got the La Liga, La Liga as well. So it's a very nice team. It's worth about a million coins. Um, they're all thereabouts. Prices are fluctuating at the moment, so especially because of weekend league and that. So yeah, it's not for certain, but um, it's a pretty nice team. Anyway, we're going to dive straight into it. So we're going to start with a goalkeeper. And if this would like to load, we have got Ariola now. I know what we're thinking, Jack, you've got a 1 million coin team, an 82 rated goalkeeper, what's going on? This guy is worth about 14,000 coins, and in all honesty, he is a very, very, very good goalkeeper um, for an 82 rated card. And to be honest, goalkeepers, I feel like goalkeeper, goalkeepers can only be like a certain, like a, a, up to a certain level this year. I don't know what it is, but like nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna score if you're through on goal, like one on one anyway. So it doesn't matter if you've got flipping four Buffons in their prime in goal, they're still going to be able to score. So, um, yeah, but what I have noticed with this guy, uh, he, he, he's a pretty decent shot stopper. Like, he's not going to be, like, rebounding it straight back into the path of someone coming in and, and trying to score a rebound. So, that doesn't really happen. Um, and, yeah, just in general, he's a, he's a pretty solid goalkeeper. And you get your money's worth, for sure. For an 82-rated goalkeeper... 14,000 coins, you know he's going to be decent because not many 82 red goalkeepers are actually that that expensive. So, we'll move into the left centre-back spot first then. We have got Raphael Varane, um, who is up there with one of the best centre-backs I've used. 83 pace, 85 defending, 80 physical. A very, very, very solid card there. Um, if you do get caught like on the back foot, you can always use his pace to kind of get back and, uh, you know, on the cover. So he's definitely a good player to have. He's worth about 240,000 coins, so fairly expensive. One of the more expensive players in the team, but he is very much worth it. On to the right back, right centre back spot then. We have got a Kanji. I've used this guy, I think maybe in one hybrid squad, but for this, uh, maybe in my latest one actually. But yeah, he's a very, very good uh, right centre back. And um, yeah, he's actually got a similar card to Varane's and for like 30k you can't really go wrong because if you do compare the stats I know Varane is better in most positions like yeah I, I completely get that but it's not like massively better like he does have five more pace and then two more defending but is that worth 200k extra let me know in the comment section below um, I'm sure if Akanji was playing for Real Madrid and he was French he would probably be worth about 100k um, simple as that maybe maybe a little bit less but yeah He's a very, very good card for what you are paying. So, left back spot then, we have got Alexandro. Happy days. What a player he is on this game. He's around 80,000 coins as well. 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 82 defending, and 82 physical. What a card. And uh, yeah, that is the third player in our defence. We'll move now onto the right back spot, and it's going to be a lowly rated right back, but I can assure you. This guy is a machine. If you look at his stats, like 82 physical, 91 pace, 72 defending. That is very, very, very good for a 77 rated card. I've played against him numerous amounts of times and I thought, you know what, I've got to try him out. 
I've got, I wanted a different way instead of using a Dortmund player to get a Kanji on full chem. And uh, yeah, it paid in dividends because this guy is just an absolute monster. He's so goddamn good. And um, yeah, if you guys are building any teams, even for like 50k, 100k, and you want a solid, solid fullback in your team, this is the man for you. Embadu is an absolute unit. So um, yeah, highly recommend him. Moving on then to the left CDM, we have got... Blaze Matweedy. Uh, obviously, he gets the final link for Varane to get him on full chemistry, and he enables uh, Alexandro to get full chemistry. So, um, yeah, a lot of I've seen a lot of people say like, you know, Matweedy's not that great, and he moves a bit like a bus. But genuinely, I haven't found anything bad with him at all. Um, he's got decent pace for a CDM. He's got great defensive and physical. He's got decent passing ability. Um, so I can't really find many negatives with him to be honest but I know a few people don't really like using him if you don't want to use him you can use like Rabio or someone like that um, so there are other options out there but personally for me I went with Matweedy I think he's a little bit more defensive than Rabio, and uh, he just fits that left CDM role a little bit better Moving on then to the right CDM and we have got Delaney. I know this guy's left footed and uh, yeah, should really be playing on the right hand side, but it doesn't really matter. Um, he's a very good player. I know he does have high high, but if you set him to just drop in between defenders or stay back whilst attacking, you know, he's, he's going to do the job for you and that should sort it out. But um, yeah, a great player, 85 defending, 84 physical, 79 pace as well. So we've got decent pace in our defensive mids, which I think is personally ideal. Uh, this year and as all you do as all of you guys know as well um, it's fairly vital but um, yeah a really really nice defensive midfield pairing there and one that I'd highly recommend picking up next we have got the goal scorer in the midfield and who else would you want in that central centre mid spot other than Christian Eriksen 90 passing ladies and gentlemen 81 shooting 73 pace 84 dribbling he's got five star weak foot four star skill moves i played eight games with him. He's got four goals. He's got one assist. Um, the person before me actually played 18 games, got four goals and got five assists. Um, so you can see he can score goals from that midfield role. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a player you guys should be picking up and trying out because he is an absolute monster. Now, if you're looking at this team, you're probably thinking, right, he's going to get Harry Kane up top. But... That is not the case. We're going to just go through. Um, we're going to go for the left winger first, actually. We've got Anthony Martial. You can kind of go with anyone you really want, um, although you do need a French link uh, for um, Martial. So maybe you can't go with anyone you want, actually. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about going... I was trying to mix up this team a little bit more, and I was thinking about going potentially like uh, Mane at left wing, then Idrissa Gay at left CDM, and then Kazara at left back to get Varane that final link. That was another option I had. Um, and you'd still get full chem, I believe. Although, no, you'd probably no, you'd have two dead links, actually. Apologies. You'd have two dead, dead links to Varane and Christian Eriksen. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you could find something else to do on that left-hand side, but I personally went with this, and uh, I really, really like it. So, yeah, Martial, you know what you're getting. He's a very, very good player indeed. Right wing, then, we have got, as you can see here, Jaden Sancho, and he completes that Bundesliga side of the team. A very, very good player indeed. Obviously, five-star skill moves. Um, you can see the record that someone had before uh, I got hold of him. 74 games, 25 goals, and 17 assists. Not a bad ratio. He's got four-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, of course. And, uh, yeah, he's a great player in this game. We all know that. And then, to finally finish off the team, we have got Hyung Min Sun. What a player he is. 88 pace, 86 shooting, 80 passing, 87 dribbling. This man is a monster, to say the least. He's an absolute monster. And um, yeah, very much worth the coins. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think so far. And um, yeah, would you have made any, would you make any changes to the team? Is there anything that you'd like to do differently for it? What custom tactics would you have? Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. I think I've got constant pressure um, on just because I'm trying, I'm trying a different way of defending at the moment. I feel like when I drop back tons, I just invite pressure and um, yeah, it just doesn't really seem to play to my best effect. So I'm trying to mix up some defending 
different defending tactics and hopefully you're going to find one that works for me. But we're going to go into a game now and see what we can do with this team. Uh, I'm really excited to obviously use it. I've, obviously, I've played a couple of, well, one game of it already um, just to make sure it was actually a good team before obviously releasing it out to you guys. But um, yeah, it was a very, very nice team. So we're going to dive into a game now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let's do this. Okay, we have found ourselves an opponent. He has got... Full Prem side, Arnold and Robbo at fullback and well at fullback spot. Sanchez and also Socrates in the defence. Loris in goal. He's got a nice attack actually. Lucas Moore. I think he had Aguero as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a tough game, isn't it? It's going to be a tough game, but uh, I'm sure we can do the business. I'm sure we can do the business. Right, let's go. What a ball! Here we are. Sancho is in. Ah, maybe a little bit, maybe a few too many McGinney spins. Um, ah, that's not good. Good save. Go on, Ericsson. Use that pace. Sancho, oh, the ball was there as well. The ball was there for Sancho. Go on. Bang it. Now that was terrible. Go on. Go on. Oh, no. That would have been a lovely goal. I know we got kind of lucky there, but... Why am I taking corners with Varane? Someone tell me. Someone tell me. Go on. Bang it. Go on. Here we are. Bang it. How on earth has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? Okay, well that's the half-time whistle. It's actually nil-nil. Not really been much going on, I'm not going to lie. I, mean, I, th I think sometimes with this formation, you do need to go a little bit more attacking. Um, especially when you've got two fairly defensive DMs. But um, yeah, man, I think uh, I think we can go ahead and grab the win in this. We've had quite a few opportunities so far, as you will have seen. I mean, we probably should be 1-0 up. But uh, it is what it is. We're going to go into the second half. Hopefully, grab a few goals. Delaney, go on. There we are. That's the goal we wanted. Delaney has got on the score sheet. Lovely bit of hold up play as well from Sun. And uh, Delaney's just fired through with that left peg of his and banged it into the bottom right hand corner. Lovely stuff. So our defensive mids do have the ability to get on the score sheet as well, which is always what you want to see. We want to see as many players in the game contributing as much as possible. So nice to see. Ah, got to be careful. Got to be careful. Why is this so typical? Every single time you score after like a stalemate for most of the game, you're always like Ozil scoring with his right foot. Are you actually serious? That just ne that would never happen in real life. Wow. <sighs> Jesus, man. Go on. Bang it. There we are. 2-2. Two, two. Deserved. Didn't even deserve to go behind, man. Did not deserve to go behind. Lovely finish, though, from Martial. Let's go. Go on. Go on, Martial. Oh, for God's sake. As if he's been able to get back. As if. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, how that didn't go in at the end. I'm, I'm just, oh my God. <laughs> what? How did that go? No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually fuming. Like, how on earth has that not gone in at the end? I wish we could see a replay of some sort, man. Unbelievable. Like, I mean, look at them stats. Like, 13 shots, 7 on target, more possession, better pass accuracy, more corners, the lot. I mean, 
I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. But yeah, guys, there we are. That is the team that we built. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but it's just one of them games of FIFA. You can't be expected to win every single game. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would have done differently or what team you would have built with the same amount of coins. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me oh, 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 oh.